Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing tonight? Or actually today where you guys are. When I was recording this, it was night. So, I hope you're all having a marvelous day. This is now my third time trying to record some type of sense into this video. I'm having a problem talking. So if I stop talking because I'm concentrating, I don't, I never really paid too much attention to trying to talk when painting. It's actually pretty confusing, or pretty frustrating when you're trying to talk and paint it's like uh i get flabbergasted i'm like uh jump, 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 jump. yeah i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna concentrate and then all of a sudden i'll start talking again <laughs> but I know you guys seen the unboxing of this, so I wanted to definitely bring it out and start getting some work done on it. I did start on it. I'm sure you guys can see this down here on this corner. I did start on it, but I was unhappy with... Well, the brushes that came with it were cheap as cheap can be. And the paint brushes I've had for years were just so old they were falling apart. So I ordered some new ones and they are nice, especially for this fine detail that this painting has on it. So, today I figured we'd just talk a little bit about everything that's going on. It's been you know, not having a live stream on Monday night is so relaxing. Um, you guys hear noise in the background. It's the girlfriend. She's She has a girlfriend over and they're getting a little tipsy. I said, I'm going to go record a video. You two have fun. You're going to go hit the hot tub and do some drinking. I said, go right ahead. It's your day off. Why not? It ain't going to hurt my feelings none. It gives me time to get a, to get a video done. And she hasn't seen her friend in probably five or six years, I think she said. Almost six. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's good. These, these spots are so tiny. So tiny. But I am super happy I got these brushes because they have the the comfy filly on there. It is so nice.
Um, trying to hit some of these smaller spots. I don't really want to get into big blobgy spot. It's kind of hitting all the small spots I can see that aren't all like super crazy. So, I want to give a quick shout out to a couple people who have been moderators on my channel for a little while or quite some time now. Um, I want to thank Miss Coffee for dropping my F bomb and Facebook link. And I want to thank Crafting with Christy, my sister, from another mister, for dropping my links as well. And good old boy for dropping my links. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to switch colors here real quick. Uh, there's a big spot open right here I might work on. Okay, it goes 11, 13. Oh, 12 has two. It's weird. Why would it go 10, 12, 12, 11? As I wish I had a, a color schematic. Uh, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, because I don't have nothing. They sent me a picture of what it's supposed to look like, and that's it. Number 11 looks way too dark for to be clouds because I'm working on the sky right now so this is like a lime green that's supposed to be here okay let's find out what this is going to be like So, just want to give a quick shout out to those peeps for doing that for me. Greatly appreciate it. I got some good sales on my Etsy. Plus, I also got some new members to the group. I will try my best to set up a or link up my group in the description You're more than welcome to join if you are a crafter because it is a crafting group So, I've been working on this job at work that has been, like, oh my gosh, is this job ever going to end? You ever get one of those jobs? Like, you feel it's never going to end? Let me tell you about this job that I think is never going to end. 
we do this job every year for this customer and this year they ordered 30,000 envelopes for the the launch the boat launch so we ordered them had them made and printed and then now I'm getting the daunting task of drilling a hole in the envelope and then I have to number them so it gets numbered two times same number on the envelope thirty thousand of them y'all and then when I'm done with that which I completed on Friday thank the Lord but the part I didn't tell y'all was there's 15,000 more of them that are for the campground spot that have to have the exact same thing done to them Like, are you freaking kidding me? I am never getting this job done. So it puts a number about halfway up the envelope and then at the end of the envelope. Then there's the same number is so they can keep track of who's paid to launch their boat and who has not paid the hole in the envelope is for they can see if there's money in the envelope because people like to be shady as hell if you catch my drift there's some shady ass people out there. Let me tell you what. They will rob you blind if you if you turn your back long enough. So I don't even know what the heck I was just talking about. I have a short term memory loss. Not really. I say I do because I'm always forgetting what I'm talking about. And it gets it gets old sometimes. Um, anyways, I guess I was talking about that job. Or did I finish talking about that? I don't even know. So, let's just skip past that. I don't even know what the heck I was talking about. Maybe y'all can remind me and I'll c catch up with that later. I have a very forgetful memory. So,
that's what I've been working on. I'm trying to diamond paint as much as I possibly can. Because I have so many canvases. Well, not so many. I have a decent stash. Not the size of some of y'all stashes I've been hearing about, but I got a decent stash. I got about 15 diamond art clubs. And uh, there's some others. EAC is my all time favorite. Because they were the first company that I ever did a diamond painting. That's a freaking like a bright yellow when it dries. Right now it looks This paint. Mm -hmm. Or some of the areas of this canvas doesn't seem like the paint wants to stick to really well. I know if it's too warm, the paint don't want to, uh, or it dries way too fast. different brush Uh, I'm sorry if you guys are sitting and watching this, because I think I'm doing a horrible job. I 
probably jumped into a project too soon. I probably should have picked something easier to start. That way I could knock the rust off. I haven't painted it in a long time. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. I thought I could probably just pick it up. It's like riding a bike. Although I haven't rode a bike. Probably ten years because I don't ride a bike very much. But I'm trying to get, trying to get a little bit more comfortable with it. Now that I have this little bit bigger of a brush, it's making it easier. My problem is, is I just, I can't talk. I don't like to talk when I paint. I don't know what I was thinking when I got this. But we're going to push through it and we're going to try, or I'm going to try. You guys can leave whenever you want. So, anybody have... I think if I had a tag, it would be easier. Because I'd have something in front of me to read off. Like right now, I'm just trying to think of whatever off the top of my head to talk about. And the only thing that really comes up is Trapper. And my girlfriend. And work. You guys probably don't want to hear about any of them. I try to get the woman to come in here and take a picture with me so I can use it as a thumbnail she about slapped the living crap out of me whoa don't shoot the messenger now she goes what do you mean don't shoot the messenger this is your idea and I go no 
People are asking to see you. Don't shoot the messenger. Alright, now I can start working this way. That's a bright yellow. It is yellow up there. I don't know how some people sit in a chair like this for hours on end. In paint or Diamond paint. I can't. It kills my back to sit in a chair like that. I think I may start entering a segment into my my live streams where I say, okay, five minute intervention, y'all get up, stretch, use the restroom, get a snack, and then go back to what you were doing. Cause sometimes my back is so... So sore. That I want to call intervention. Or not inter intervention, but uh, uh. Just a little kneading. What do you do when the uh, the paint don't cover the black lines? Put more paint on, I guess. I don't know how they expect these little tiny things to be enough paint for this whole canvas. Because I already feel like I'm going to be shy. I'm going to end up be buying ink or paint and mixing it. So I'll have enough. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. I don't know. Somebody does paint by numbers. And I'm doing something wrong. Fill me in, please.
I don't know, y'all. I get so... Trying to... So wrapped up in the painting that I don't talk. Somebody want to write a skit for me? What to talk about? That's what I'm going to have to freaking do. I'm going to have to write myself a skit out. To talk about. Because I never can think of anything to talk about. Besides Trapper is over there sound asleep on my pillow like a little dork. I love my boogie butt. He is a bed hog though, y'all. Don't let him fool ya. You should see three of us in that bed. Yeah, right. He don't sleep on the bed. The only time he sleeps in the bed is when I'm over here at the table. He sleeps in the bed. If he gets cold at night, he'll get up and get in bed. But for the most part, he is on the ground where it is cooler. Like I said, he uh, he's always hot. I thought it was hot. It could be 70 degrees outside, and that dog would be panting like nobody else's business. Like, it's not even hot out. I. 70 is not even hot. We get to the 110s, 118s here where I live, and we don't even know what hot is yet. Be honest with him. I keep telling you. You don't even know what hot is yet, boo. You think you're hot now? Just wait until summer's full of here when it's 115, 116, 117. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I want to give a shout out to the people who have been buying some F-bombs from me. I truly appreciate it. Um, I know a few of y'all have actually gone over 
and left me some really nice reviews. If you can go over and leave me a review, that'd be awesome. If not, it's all good. I ain't gonna push you to do what you don't want to do. Just reviews are always nice to have. So, sure this is probably really boring. If you want to leave pointers for me, tags. Would you guys like to see this in a time lapse? Time lapse might be the way to go. Time lapse might be the way to go. Now the thing is, is I'm gonna have to record for probably like a, an hour of straight painting. To get what like a half hour of of video. Oh shoot 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 shoot. I totally was just going right over top of that little spot. That's alright, because I can fix that with the second round. So what's nice about a paint by color, because you can, you can have room for errors because it can be fixed with the next color or you can go back and do all the final little touch-ups at the end I have a diamond painting toy that I want to share, but I don't know if I should share it now or if I should just make a unboxing video, but I think what I'm going to start doing on my unboxings, if they're not, if they're short, Put a couple items together just to make it a little bit longer of a video instead of unboxing one little thing and have like a five minute video I can unbox a couple which will work
plus I have a couple handfuls or a handful I should say of videos already recorded on my laptop so all I have to do is just upload the video which makes it really really nice so if there's a day because I already have videos so if there's a day I don't feel like recording it's not a big deal I have pre-recording done Finish this small area and see what the time is. They call it quits here. Oh, really? Evidently, he's tired. Because when he yawns or, or stretches, he means he's tired. But don't let him fool you because he will yawn at you when you're taking too long. No lie. When I'm getting ready in the morning, he will sit at the doorway of the room yawning at me. Because he's tired of waiting on me. I'm like, I don't think so, buddy. You can just chill your jets. Well, let's see how long this has been. I feel like I've let y'all down by not talking. I never thought about it when I got the painting that I usually am not a big talker when I'm painting so that might be a little bit of an issue never thought about it before but oh well um, it's been about 45 minutes so I'm gonna try to go another 15 see if we can't get a couple more spots done here So, if you have any tips, please leave a comment. If you thought this was boring, leave a thumbs down. Be honest, though.
I don't I don't want no fake. Oh you did a good job. Be honest. I'm honest with y'all. When y'all hear me talking, it's honest to God truth. I I I'm not a liar. I do not I think lying is a very classy way to live your life. Plus my mom would whoop my ass if I was lying to y'all. If she was still alive, whew, she would tear me up. My mom would raise me to be an honest person. And I uphold that with y'all. Okay. So, please be brutally honest with me. Man, I'm the worst. Yeah, like what Trapper says. You're the worst, Dad. You've lost your touch on painting. And... You can't talk while you're doing it. I don't know why I, I ever thought I would have been able to talk and paint. I've never been able to talk and paint. I get so focused and concentrated on the canvas. But on that note, There's been a lot of stuff going on on YouTube. I know there's been a couple people who have touched, touched base on this. I'm not here to start shit with anybody. And you know my motto. I want to be friends with every one of y'all. And I'm not about starting drama. But... I keep hearing the same BS over and over and over again. It's like just... Y'all keep saying, oh, I ain't a high schooler anymore. I don't need somebody to tell me how to run my channel. Well, well show me. If you're gonna run your channel, run your channel. I'm tired of hearing, I ain't gonna run a channel the way you want it to be ran. Y'all supposed to be adults. Grow the F up. Jeez. Sorry to get all flabbergasted at you guys, but I understood what Miss Coffee said that day when she she told all of us that speech. Some of you may not know what that meant or what that was stated by saying or what she was saying. Some of you translated that as she's talking shit about us. It's not what she was doing. She was trying to get you outside of your box. She was basically saying, okay, you like live streaming every day. So be it. If you want to live stream every day, so be it. Live stream every day. But get outside your box. Do a whipping chat. Do different videos. Bring more creativity to your channel. It wasn't putting y'all down. And now, I'm going to be perfectly honest. 
for the first 10 to 15 minutes of that video, I thought she was completely talking about me. I was like, yep, okay, she is completely talking about me. And then after listening to it and it went on, I was like, she ain't talking about me. She's talking about everybody in freaking general. Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. That's been bugging me. Bugging me. I keep hearing it every day. I ain't gonna do this on my channel because somebody wants it, somebody else. And blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Sh shut up already. Get over it. You smell me? Jeez. That being said, I'm aggravated. I'm gonna stop right now before I blow a gasket. So, thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I give two shits what you do, honestly. And remember, treat people how you want to be treated, and hopefully they treat you the same way back. Peace.